Watch Porsche's portable DCFC charger juice up the Mekong Electric. Hey there, fellow EV enthusiasts. Ready to rev up your knowledge about electric vehicles? Welcome to EVpedia, where we're on a mission to electrify your passion for all things EV. But hey, we can't do it alone. We need your support to turbocharge this channel. So, hit that subscribe button faster than an electric supercar and join our community of eco-champions and tech aficionados. Let's zap into the future together. This portable charging trailer has 2.1 megawatt hours of capacity and can charge it up to 320 kilowatts. Kyle from the Out of Spec YouTube channel recently had the opportunity to go on site to the French Riviera. There, he had some quality time behind the wheel of the beautiful new Porsche Macung Electric. But as a true electric car nerd, Kyle was just as fascinated by this cool piece of portable EV charging tech from Porsche. The Porsche Turbocharging Portable DC Fast Chargers, DCFC, have served as a charging solution for the automaker since 2019. Porsche has seven of these charging trailers deployed across Europe. It has been an excellent solution to many different charging scenarios like powering prototype testing, marketing, and test drive events and track days. While we have seen similar technologies since, the specs on Porsche's charge system remain quite impressive. Most other systems are much smaller in scope. The trailer featured weighs a whopping 70,000 pounds, has a 2.1 megawatt hours battery capacity, and can support a 3.2 megawatts load. There are 10 plugs on the unit that can dispense 320 kilowatts each, with the battery pack supporting 400 amp peak discharging. In the example here, the trailer is plugged into the grid to replenish the battery pack, but the trailer's island mode allows it to work completely off battery power. When directly connected to power at this location, a series of five heavy-duty cords are run from the power source to the trailers with a specialty design plug and a converter to get a five-pin, three-phase red plug with a neutral and a ground. Each trailer's massive battery pack can be replenished from the grid in about four hours. When the pack's capacity is full while connected to power, the AC to DC converter can serve as a pass-through to charge the car directly, bypassing the battery pack. When the trailer is in its island mode, it can also balance the charge levels across all of the battery packs. This is a very inefficient process, however, since there is no DC to DC connection between them. As a result, this requires two conversions from DC to AC and then back from AC to DC. So they avoid this when possible. There are lots of other interesting technical details, so if you're interested in battery and EV charging technologies, be sure to check out the full video. And that's a wrap, folks. But before you zoom off, don't forget to show us some love. Hit that like button harder than a thunderbolt and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Want more electrifying content? Well, don't be shy. Subscribe and ring that bell for a shockingly good time. Thanks for tuning in to EVpedia, where the future is electric and the laughs are unlimited.